Midway through the 2002 season, Nismo made the decision to let tradition become history by replacing the legendary inline six engine unit with a V6 layout twin turbo engine. The 3.0-liter VQ30 DETT unit was Nismo's answer to once again capture the podium with the GTR. The long and heavy inline six layout of the previous engine was one of the biggest obstacles in the way of pursuing more speed. The lighter, more compact VQ engine enabled more engineering flexibility. The new engine was mounted at the very back of the engine bay, right against the bulkhead, significantly improving overall weight distribution. The GTR has always been the pride of Nissan's motorsports heritage. The car that wore the GTR emblem was not to settle for anything less than the top of the podium. From 2003, use of pipe frames around the monocoque body was deregulated. This helped the GTR shed weight from the outer body shell. Although the amount of weight loss was still regulated, the engineers had more freedom in balancing the weight distribution of the entire car. To shorten pit work time, the fuel inlet was located on the side in front of the rear fender. An air jack valve was located inside the left front headlights. On both the front and rear, five-spoke forged magnesium wheels were installed with Bridgestone's 330-width 40R 18-inch tires. With various modifications done to the suspension as well, these tires were able to perform up to its full potential. The aerodynamics of the 2003 model GT machine was also an area which received major modifications. The space between the tire and the edge of the wheelhouse was purposely designed inconsistently in order to increase the top speed of the vehicle by minimizing drag. The height of the rear spoiler was regulated to be equal or lower than the highest point of the rear window. The spoiler was shaped to achieve maximum efficiency, creating downforce and synergetic effect with the rear under diffuser. The small holes found on the diffusers are connecting sockets to attach a measuring apparatus used in setting up the car. An air inlet was located on the rear trunk lid for the purpose of cooling the transaxle transmission and to provide fresh air to the oil cooler situated in the rear. The placements of the transaxle and the oil cooler in the back contributed to the car's good overall weight distribution. The exhaust was located just behind the front tires coming out of the front fenders. This was done to increase the speed of airflow along the side of the car. The side garnish was also designed to complement the increased airflow. The basic design of the cockpit was unchanged from the previous models, but the roll cage layout was changed on the O3 model. Because the transmission was moved to the back, it was possible to move the driver's seat to the rear for optimum weight distribution. Since the driver's seat was moved back, the steering column was made longer. Instrument panels were located to minimize eye movement, helping the driver focus on the racetrack at all times. Located in the center console, the sequential gear shift, stabilizer adjusters, and other important controls which the driver needed to adjust during the race. The blue knob on the near side was the brake balance control. This enabled the driver to adjust the front and rear brake balance even while driving. The pedals were situated on the floor in similar fashion to formula cars. The brake pedal was specially designed to prevent slipping. Ventilated disc brakes were used up at the front and at the back of the racing car. AP Racing brake calipers on both front and rear were equipped with cooling devices which ran water through the inside of the calipers. In order to avoid locking the brakes and to allow the driver maximum control of braking, the rotors were designed with numerous grooves. The front canards on both sides of the vehicle helped rectify the flow of air through the front under panel. It also assisted in enhancing the effect of the rear spoiler. This aero part was installed on circuits that required maximum downforce. 
The openings on the front hood released the air sucked in from the front for the intercooler and the radiator. The aerodynamics of the car was carefully designed to create optimum downforce without suffering from drag. Although the RB inline six unit was replaced with a VQ engine, the 2003 Nismo GTR GT machine will be remembered as the ultimate R34 GTR. In its last season in JGTC, the car awarded the Nismo team and its drivers with the 2003 championship crown. The pride of Nissan's flagship racing car was passed on to the 350Z, which will race in the 2004 JGTC series with number one painted on its body. The legacy continues.